Lots of things you can do to change the image a little bit. Let's just bring it back to medium size. Uh, for example, you can have the strength of the HDR. So if you were to bring that down, the window would probably get a bit crap. Yeah, not so good there. Uh, it just doesn't look that great. So bring that up to 100, full strength. And there, so it looks a little bit more realistic. Colour saturation is usually good to have around about the 60, 70 mark. If you have it up 100, it, uh, this image it looks okay, but if you're doing it in JPEG, it'd probably look pants. Um, I uh, And if you look outside the window, it kind of looks like a cartoon image. doesn't quite look so real. So I usually like the colour saturation around about 60. Yeah. Uh, and you can change it afterwards in, in Photoshop. Now, light smoothing. This is where it gets a little bit more interesting. Um, for example, this image here is very nice and smooth. There's no kind of harsh shadows or anything. So you kind of want it on a very high smoothing ability. If you were to bring it down a bit, let's see the effect. Kind of a bit of a cooler effect with the wind, with the wall, but it's getting a wee bit funny around the windows. Bring it down even further. And there you can see the chairs looking nice and bright. The outside window really looks like uh, your stereotypical HDR image. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad. Again, it's not too bad because I've probably used RAW. If I'd done it with JPEGs, it'd probably be a bit rubbish. So I might just go for medium high. Keep it there. Now, down here, you have your tone settings, your white point, black point, your gamma. Uh, gamma, again, nobody knows what that means, uh, but it's roughly like your kind of brightness setting in Lightroom. It kind of brings up the mid-tones a bit. So bring that up, and there. It looks a bit rubbish. So I usually like my gamma around about 150-odd. Yeah, well, maybe that's a bit too dark, maybe 140. Yes, yeah, so that's a bit better. Your black point is, for example, how, say down here where it's uh, the bit of the chair, how black does that become? So if you put that up really high, that'll be total black. See, not good. So I like to keep that a little bit low. And the white point, the white point is to do with the kind of brightness white bits. So if we were to bring that right up, the light would look a bit rubbish. All right, there is not so great. Again, this raw really has helped, so, but I'll keep it down a little bit. Uh, you've also got your temperature you can play with, and your saturation points, and micro smoothing, so if you wanted it really kind of harsh, there, that's kind of given it quite a cool effect, but not a great one if I was trying to show off how nice a room it was. So I'd probably want the micro smoothing quite high up. And there, there's kind of a smooth walls, so you know, it doesn't look too bad. And then, so once you're happy with your image, uh, for me, I think I might just put the temperature up one, and put the luminosity, kind of again the brightness, up a little bit more, and then just click process, and we'll wait for that to finish. Okay, and that's it finished processing, and that looks not too bad. I'd probably want to brighten it up in Lightroom afterwards, but I'd say that's looking pretty okay. So after you've done that, you have to go up to go File, and go to Save As, and I'll already have a name for it, so you just click that's fine, and go Save. Now I can close that down, and I'll show you the examples there. So. Yeah, so here's the perfect example. So this is the finalized HDR photo, and if we were to go and look at the kind of average photo from the camera, that's how it looks. So that photo itself is fine, but you can see the outside the window is totally blown out. You can see some of that building, and down at the bit of the chair is pretty dark. Even though the Fuji S5 Pro has one of the best dynamic ranges, it can still be enhanced quite a bit by using HDR photography. And definitely using RAW, lots of frames, keeping a fixed aperture, keeping a low ISO, um, and using a tripod really has a big effect on the image. Beep, 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 beep. 
There you go. Hope that helps. Bye. Thank mm-hmm. you.